Are you tired of trying to model simple little relief cuts on guitars in Fusion 360 and for some reason it just doesn't work? Well, you're not alone, but today I'm going to teach you a method that anyone can do in under only one minute. However, before we go into the details and talk about how it works, let me just prove it to you. So start the clock. Let's go. Okay, so I have a T-style body here and I'm just going to create a sketch on the back plane of the guitar and project in the outer contour because we're going to create a simple little belly cut. Now I can grab my drawing tool of choice, which in this case is a control point spline, and just create a rough curvature of what I would like this belly cut to look like. We can always adjust this later and play around with the shape, but for now, something like that looks pretty good. We'll hit finish and create a plane along path, and then we will click on that new line that we just sketched and drag it roughly to the apex of that curve and hit OK. Now I can create a sketch on that new plane and we can just drag a line or an arc out. So that way we get the direction we want this cut to go. And now we can just go create, sweep, grab that profile, grab that path, hit OK. And we've created a very simple little belly cut in under one minute. Now, obviously, we will probably need to go back and edit some of this. And we'll talk about that more in just a second. But I wanted to prove to you guys that that is actually possible to do in under one minute. All right, so now with that out of the way, let's talk about what's really cool about this, and then we'll go ahead and do another one, and I'll talk about it a little bit more in detail. So if we reshow the sketches, what's really cool is if you actually don't constrain this, which is contrary to what I normally tell people, is we can do some live edits until we get it the exact shape we want, and then we can actually go and constrain things. So right now we can see that this cut is maybe, you know, a little too shallow, and also maybe the, the arrow or the line isn't exactly going towards where we want. So let's go ahead and make some changes just by dragging this geometry around. So I can grab this curvature or this uh, direction line. I can drag that down and say, you know, I want that to go deeper into the guitar body. Right? And I could say, okay, well, you know, that's pretty deep in there, but it's actually not far enough in. So now what I could do is come up here and let's say drag that further back. You know, maybe that's going too deep now. So I can come back up and edit that. And let's say we want this to wrap further around the back. So I can come back here, grab that line, drag it a little bit further back, maybe edit the recurve here. And you'll notice now maybe that line's not exactly going to where we want. So all we have to do is just grab this line and move it over until that is going exactly where we want it to. So let's drag this back a little bit, right about there. You know, that's looking pretty good right about there. It's going right from the apex of this one to the apex of that one. And now it's deep enough kind of where I want it. And so that's actually pretty good. So let's go ahead and just unshow our sketches. So we have a pretty nice little belly cut there. But what we can do now is now that we have it where we want, we can actually come back in here and just create fix, unfix, or fully dimension or define this control point spline. In this case, on this one, I could just hit fix, unfix which will lock it in place until I want to make changes later. Now on the second one, it's a little bit easier. So we go over here and you know, maybe we want to define the angle of this. So what I could do is I could create like a construction line. Let's dimension that up, let's say two inches. And I can make these two vertical and then I could define the angle here. So let's go like, well, it's already at 32 degrees. So maybe I just round it down to 30 degrees. Hit okay. And now this whole thing is defined. I have a 30 degree cut that follows the contour of my guitar and is as deep as I want it to go in. So it's really as simple as that. And it works in just about any scenario. The downside to it, of course, is you're not really providing definition of exactly what that shape should look like. And so you're kind of relying on the, how, it, how it sweeps along that path. But there are some other things you can do to this. So for example, Inside this sketch, I could delete that line and create an arc instead. So I could create an arc, like a three-point arc, come down here. Let's say we wanted a little bit of curvature in that. Let's make those two points vertical, and then we can define the radius here. So let's say that's pretty close to three inches. So let's just do three inches. And the question now is how far down is that from that line? So let's just say we want this to go one and a half inches. No, that's too far. Let's do one inch down. That looks pretty good. Hit OK. Come back to our sweep because now it has an error message because the path is gone. Hit missing paths. 
and reselect that new arc. Now you'll notice there's some weird geometry here. It's just taking that path and sweeping it down like that. Now if I hit OK, now you'll notice that I actually have a little bit of curvature inside of that cut as if I took like an angle grinder or something or a sander and tried to scoop it out. So we can do a lot with this technique with just such simple little, such a simple little method. So let's go ahead and let's undo it and go back to the straight line. Just a second, there we go. And let's take this and let's create a matching uh, arm bevel to go with it. And I'll do this a little bit slower this time so you guys can see it in a little more detail. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a matching arm bevel. And to start with that, we'll start sketching on the top plane of the guitar, just like we did with the back. So that way we can project in the outer contour. So that way we have something for our geometry to connect to. And it also has to close the profile so that way we can sweep it. So I'll show you what that means in a second, but P on the keyboard, hit enter. Now that's now that geometry is inside of our sketch. So now arm bevels are pretty easy. They're pretty straightforward. So we can just drag a straight line across roughly where we want it. And now we can do a little bit of editing. So we can say, you know, maybe we want it to be roughly like there. And what I meant by a closed profile is you have to be able to highlight that profile. So that means it creates a completely closed chain. So for example, if this wasn't connected, I now am selecting the whole guitar body. I can't select that. I can't select just my, um, my cut. So it has to be connected and now I can select that. So once again, let's go ahead and hit finish sketch because right now we're just prototyping and we can create a plane along path. Now, the reason why I chose plane along path rather than anything else is it creates a plane that is perfectly perpendicular or normal to that path at any given point. So if it was a curve, it will stay normal to that curve as it travels along. And we can define where we want it to be along that path. So in this case, we could just say we want it to be exactly halfway through that path by typing 0.5. Now, maybe, you know, if we imagine this plane is coming out all the way to the edge, it's not quite at the apex. So maybe we could change the position of that path or we could change our geometry. So let's hit OK for now and we can still see our path right here. So let's drag this over a little bit until it's pointing more exactly towards the apex. And I think that usually gives the most symmetric and good results. And, you know, we could still move this further back. Let's look at it from the top view again. Maybe we want this to be that way, but we also want it to be further into the guitar body. So let's look at our path right here. It's going to right about there. So maybe we want to drag this down a little bit more. Yeah, that's shooting to a right about there. That should be fine. Now we can go ahead and sketch on that new plane that we've created so we can give the trajectory that we want this cut to go. So all we need to do is either an arc or a line. Now let's start with a line, but there's some cool things you can do with arcs when it comes to arm bevels. So we'll just drag this out for now, like so, and we'll go ahead and sweep it. So we can hit finish sketch, come up here to create and sweep, grab that new profile that we created, and then grab that path. And you'll notice that it's taking that path and it's keeping it parallel as it travels down that path. Now there is an option here for perpendicular, which I might be able to show you when it comes to arcs. Um, it does change a little bit, but for now we can play around with just a parallel. It's fine. And hit OK. And so we have roughly what we want, but maybe it's not deep enough into the body. Maybe it doesn't quite align or look like it matches this one very well. So we can make a couple changes, but before we do, you know, most people probably won't want a sharp edge there. So we'll want to create a fillet. So we can grab that line. So I hit F on my keyboard to bring up the fillet command, where you can come up here to fillet and grab that line. And let's say like a three inch fillet. Pretty good, although it is a little bit sharper than the one down here. So maybe we want to say like a six inch fillet. Okay, well, that one's too big. You can see it's basically fully starting to curve all the way back. So let's go back to four. You know, that's starting to look pretty good. We have a nice swoop here from this one to this one. Let's hit OK for now, and let's show our sketch again. 
And you know, it does get a little bit wider here at the bottom, so I can drag this down just a little bit to bring that further down and make sure those kind of look like they're the same width, like a, <laughs> a width all the way across through here. And you know, I'm pretty happy with that, although maybe the fillet is a little bit too large, maybe it's not. Um, but still, that is a ridiculously easy way to do that. And you know, if you wanted to, at this point, you could basically just apply a fillet to that top side of the guitar body. So let's say 0.25, and you could do the same thing to the back, and you've basically got a completed guitar body really, really quickly. But you can also do this without a fillet, right? So we did a fillet here, but that's only because we used a straight line. We could actually just do that with an arc built in, and we won't have this weird geometry. So let's delete that fillet, and let's come back into the sketch, and let's delete that line. So in order to do an arc, you'll want to first create a construction line coming from that origin point out. That way it's, uh, we can define the tangency of that arc so that it doesn't come above uh, the top surface of the guitar and it just slowly curves down and away. So we can come up here and hit arc, or we could do it you know, with a spline or something like that as well. But let's just hit three point arc. Kind of drag it out like that. Now if you hover, it might automatically apply a tangency constraint there. If it doesn't do that, you can just select both of these two lines, like so, and hit tangent. And now we can drag this out to where we want. And the thing we're paying attention to here is not necessarily where the endpoint is. We're paying attention to where it exits the guitar body, because that's actually the end of the cut. So if we wanted to dimension the, the height or the depth or anything or the radius, we want to pay attention to that. Go ahead and hit finish. And then we're going to go ahead and resweep this. So let's show our sketch, grab our profile, hit path, and grab that line. And you'll notice that this is now cutting the way we expected. Go ahead and hit OK. And there we go. And so, you know, maybe we could apply a fillet to the outside of the guitar body. And maybe we do it to the back as well. So let's grab these two, like so. Hit OK. And we have both a belly cut and an arm bevel with clean geometry, and it sort of and it pretty much matches. Although I think the fillet in this case gave a better result because the arc was a transition from before the line and after the line. So in this case, the the fillet might have been better, but it just depends on how you drew that arm bevel. Well, there you have it. The fastest technique I have in my arsenal for creating quick and easy relief cuts on guitar bodies in Fusion 360. Now I've had this technique in my toolkit for quite a long time now, but I never really use it because I generally prefer the amount of control you get from lofting and some of the other techniques I've shown on the channel, but sometimes you just got to get stuff done, and this is the fastest way I know how to do it. So if you're struggling with creating contours, you know, belly cuts, relief cuts, arm bevels, or anything on guitar bodies, give this a try and let me know how it goes down in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This is Austin, signing out.